Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got Resident Evil 7 on the Acer Aspire VX15 gaming laptop. Uh, we will be checking this out with MSI Afterburner as usual in the left-hand corner, showing you GPU temperature, uh, memory usage, frames per second, and of course RAM usage. If we go into options, you'll see under graphics, we have everything set to 1080p, uh, 60 hertz as is native, and then VSync is on, but I'm gonna turn that off. I have rendering method interlaced, but I'm gonna change that to normal. Um, yes, I'll change that. I'll leave that off so that you guys can see the unrestricted frames per second. We'll put rendering method on normal, and as you can see, the rest of these texture quality, filtering, mesh quality, they're all on high. SMAA for anti-aliasing, motion blur off just because I don't personally like it, and SSAO for ambient occlusion. Uh, everything else is on and on high. Color space is sRGB. So let's give this a whirl. I'll let you guys check out the gameplay, and then you can make a determination for yourself, but I averaged mm, close to 100 frames a second with these particular settings. I'll let you guys check this out, and I'll be back at the end. This is the place.
So that's Resident Evil 7 on the Acer Aspire VX15 gaming laptop with that GTX 1050 Ti. And it does a great job at holding up on Resident Evil at the highest settings that you can pretty much set this at uh, with a, a few things like ambient occlusion on a little bit of a lower setting. You can probably max that out too. Uh, I was averaging anywhere from 90 to 100 frames a second in the highest settings with VSync off. Obviously, if you turn VSync on, you will be locked into that 60 frames a second. So overall, it performed very well, and I'm very happy with how optimized Resident Evil 7 is. If there's any other games that you'd like to see on the VX15, please leave those in the comment section below. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Remember to like, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.